What's up, guys? Back working on the Hemi Swap Jeep Renegade. I guess we'll pick up where we left off last time. Uh, working on the front suspension. I was able to relocate the upper strut towers. Now I got to work on the lowers. Uh, I got the frame on the table here, our front subframe. All the suspension points here are going to have to move back uh, about four and five eighths inch. But unfortunately, uh, all the upper mounts, the body mounts and the engine mounts all have to stay in the position they're in. It's going to be a little interesting because on the front's not going to be bad. This is going to shift back. It might run into a bit of the engine mount or the motor mount, but the rear here, rear lower control arm, uh, might run into the body mount here. Uh, we're going to have to work around that. But as you can see, we got the suspension pretty much laid out, staying where it's at. Was, was staying where it's at. Uh, so it looks like all I got to do is start mocking up some plates and build a jig. I'm going to have to keep the reference points. And uh, so that way I'll be able to re replicate this in all new steel tubing. Probably go two by two square and uh, pretty much go from there. But I guess I'll go ahead. Uh, I already got the drawings made up. I guess we'll jump on the plasma table, cut that out bend up some plates and uh, slab it on here and see what happens. all cut out. Uh, go ahead, bolt these guys up. I did make some uh, actual motor mounts, but I realized I can't really use this as the jig to uh, mock it up. So I went ahead, cut out some uh, flat plates. So, you know, go ahead, get these bolted up, start welding in some supports, tie everything together, and then uh, see how sturdy it is. Been struggling with this a little bit but I think I got it figured out uh, as you can see 
I got the jig for the top, knocked out. Nothing warped after I welded it, let it cool down. She's good to go. And luckily, all these points are on the same plane, so I can lift it straight up, no problem. The issue with the lower links, uh, these, the fronts have to come in at this angle, the rears have to come in, you know, kind of opposite angle. But what that means, I can't pull anything straight out. Uh, but I was able to come up with this, going to go with a split sleeve. And then I'll weld the jig to the inside part of the sleeve. And when I pull the bolt out, take this section out and should be able to pull straight out without impact on this side. Same thing on, on the back side here. Flip it around and weld to the inside. And then both of these, the jig should be able to pull straight out. And then these points of reference along with the uh, rack and pinion, uh, that's all going to be solid. And uh, going to weld these up and then go from there. So, I was able to get everything welded up, uh, reinforced, triangulated, tried to tie everything together best that I could. So I really don't want this thing to move once I start taking it apart, but it looks like everything should be held together pretty well. All my pickup points, uh, everything is marked, everything should be in place, all the important stuff is there. So I guess the next step would be, I guess I'll, uh, shit. <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, take it apart. Hopefully everything stays put. It should. I mean, I've taken the top off a few times. Everything stays. Nothing warped. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead, start tearing this apart, pull the actual frame out, put the jig back in place, and uh, see what I got to do to start building a new frame. <laughs> so, been working on the subframe for the past, you know, a couple weeks, give or take. Took a week of vacation in there, too. That was nice. Uh, but back on the frame and I think I got it figured out uh, went ahead I already mocked up the driver's side it looks like it's gonna work uh, no issues with that took me a while to figure it out though but while I was doing that was getting everything also as it was working I was cutting out spare parts so I could get the passenger side done so you can kind of see here this is gonna be the main body of the uh, subframe for the passenger side uh, it's gonna attach uh, to these points of the jig so that's the body mount locations so bushing here bolt through back same thing on the front and uh, got good mounts for the lower control arms so pretty much just gonna notch this tube weld the ends on start mocking it up I uh, didn't cut the actual engine mount yet, motor mount, because uh, there were some uh, some differences passenger to driver's side. So uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down and get at it.
So, went ahead, welded up the passenger side, and it was you know, pretty uneventful. Uh, wasn't even like, yeah, that doesn't sound good. All right, yeah, there's some smoke. I mean, it's really not even that bad. Okay, that, that's a lot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's only a little bit of fire. So, uh, yeah, what, wasn't even that bad. Uh, shit. Yeah, that's not supposed to do that. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, pretty much uneventful. Uh, <laughs> uh, next step, got to go ahead and bolt this onto the frame. Uh, got to take some measurements, see what's going to fit for a cross member. There's a lot of stuff in the way now. Oil pan, that's going to have to be clearanced because of the rack and pinion. I'm not even sure what the sway bar is looking like. Figure it out. You know, figure it out when I get there. The front should be easy. Nothing but open space there. Yeah, go ahead, bolt this up, and see what kind of room I'm working with. Good news. Both sides bolt up, no problem. Uh, we do start running into problems down below. See that mark there on the oil pan? That rib and, well I guess, yeah, this rib, all the other ribs, they're all going to have to be uh, clearance to make room for the rack and pinion. But, we do have a straight shot across that I can put a cross member. And it will be... I guess it's going to stay to the front of the block. I guess it's going to stay to the front to where I'll still be able to drop the transmission if I need to without having to worry about the cross member being in the way. Oh, shit. Up underneath there. Front's going to be no problem. Tons of room. Oh, shit. Let me check this out. Yeah. 
tons of room up here. Just going to drop down eight inches, come across, come back up, and shit, the front's going to be easy. That's a wrap on the front subframe. Got everything painted up. I uh, just got to slap it in. Everything turned out pretty good. I uh, also included these eccentric washers on the uh, lower control arms. It's going to allow me to have a little bit of alignment, well, three quarters of an inch in and out. So that'll definitely help getting this thing running straight. And uh, I think that was a pretty good idea. But I think that's about it on this video. Next video, I'm going to test fit this subframe, bolt up all the suspension, and see what it looks like. I still have no idea how wide, how low, you know, what it's going to be. Uh, definitely going to have to cut some stuff out of the way to get it low, but we'll deal with that later. But anyway, thanks for following along with the build, and uh, come check out the next video. Have a little more progress. All right, thank you.